Hello, it's the Broke Game Girl. Welcome back to bonus level. Uh, we're playing some more Dream Daddy, a dad dating simulator made by the Game Grumps and Vernon Shaw and a whole bunch of other beautiful people. Um, we've I've been really enjoying this. I can't speak for you. Like, I don't have that kind of authority. But speaking for myself, I'm really enjoying this game. Um, I'm still in a section of the game where I have kind of experienced some other things. Um, before we went, we went straight over to Robert's profile to go and check what he was about, and I would still like to go on the Robert date with him, but just to, like, check out some, some new things maybe that we didn't know, let's look at some of the other dads real quick. Um, who do we not know that much about? Let's, let's find out about Damien Goth Dad. Oh, it's gonna be so wordy, isn't it? <laughs> Damien Bloodmarch. How do you do? I have finally decided to join this information superhighway. I'm not entirely sure how this works, but I will try my best to understand. I love long strolls through graveyards and spending time with my son. If you would ever like to chat about the latest in Victorian fashion, the in inevitability of our own demise, or black cats, please send me a letter. On a Friday night, you are most likely to listen to true crime podcasts while I taxidermy my newest specimens. If you had one thing to take with you onto a desert island, what would it be? A coffin. What are your turn-ons? Pronouncing bosom correctly. <laughs> and what do you want to be when you grow up? A bat. <laughs> What's your favorite movie genre? Foreign art house horror. What's your ideal date? It's night. We are at an industrial dark wave club in Berlin. The music drums to the beats of our heart. Uh, what's what's something you never leave home without? An upside down cross. I spend a lot of time thinking about morality salience. Whoa. Like, you are the epitome of goth. The, oh, the German dark wave club? What? Actually, the the German club sounds fun. I will give them that. They typically have a lot of great music coming out of Germany. Let's we know about Craig. Craig was our friend. We don't need to check in on you. How about how about um 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 you know what? Joseph's kind of a mystery to us. Like like Joseph is a mystery because like he's I you know, I mm He's he's married, but I'm pretty sure like this guy looks like he's 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 got a beard, right? Mary's a beard. She's got to be. Like that's my theory. Like you are absolutely 100% into dudes and you just got married because you're Christian and that's what Christians are supposed to do. You're supposed to get married and have a bunch of kids. So, voted in Maple Bay's number one youth minister for five years running, living in my hometown with my beautiful wife and our four amazing kids. If I'm not in church, you can catch me out on the open water, setting sail on the seas of adventure. I love playing guitar and crushing my kids at Candyland. He likes to lead the community in fun mixers. He would bring his guitar. His turn-ons is his loving wife. Um, see, that's where I'm wondering, like, it's kind of a sham. I'm pretty sure it's a sham. Like, what did you want to be when you grew up a ship captain? That's why he's got the anchor tattoo. Okay, things are making sense now, right? What's your favorite movie genre? Feel good movies. That's an ideal date. Lovely night on the town with my wife. Keep saying your wife. It's very convincing. What do you never leave home without? The good book. Uh, spend a lot of time thinking about how I can be a better man, husband, and father. Well... Okay, if you say so, dude. We're gonna go back. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go over to Bad Dad. This is where we're gonna end up anyway. This is just how I operate. Uh, we gotta go for the. We gotta go for the Bad Dad because, like, that's gonna be the hardest one to do, right? I like difficulty. I like challenges. Robert seems like a challenge. Uh, so this is his profile. When the internet gains sentience and decides to destroy us all, you'll know it'll use this information against us, right? On a Friday night, you are most likely to make a deal in an alleyway, have it go badly. Who's the cop? Was it Giacomo? I trusted Giacomo. If you had one thing to take with you onto a desert island, it would be a gun. What are your turn-ons? Don't talk to me. What did you want to be when you grew up? Grifter. What's your favorite Italian... Uh, what's your favorite movie genre? Italian neo -realist. What's your favorite Italian movie genre? <laughs> what's your ideal date? Grave robbing. 
What do you never leave home without? At least four knives. He's got us beat by three. That's a lot of knives to be carrying with you at any one time. Like, you only have the two hands. What do you need the other two knives for? <laughs> I spend a lot of time thinking about, you ever really look into a rabbit animal's eyes? Yeah, so we're gonna message him. I don't know what these hearts are. I'm assuming that's like how far we've gotten with that particular dad. So we're, we're gonna send Robert a message. So, um, the thing about Robert is he doesn't want people talking to him. He's kind of a shy guy. Um, not like in the Mario sense, but we're, we're gonna message Robert and, um, you know, Robert was pretty nice, a little odd, but nice and ruggedly handsome. We should hang out. I type out a message to him on dad book. Hey Robert, good seeing you again at the cookout. Wanna grab a drink? I sit there for a couple of seconds, hoping he'll message me back. Um, uh, hey, it says that he read my message. I anxiously wait for a response. Now we have to give him some time, right? We can't just like, we gotta be cool. This is what um, playing the long game is. So like, we're, we're just gonna, we're gonna watch cat videos for a while. I start down a rabbit hole of cat videos and Robert quickly vanishes from my mind. I didn't realize how long I'd been doing this, but by the time I watch maybe my 30th cat video, that's a lot, Robert pops back into my head. I jump back over to dad book to see if he's responded yet. Nothing yet. Nothing. Well, I guess the guy's busy. Okay. I might as well make the best of my day. So what you have to do is you just let it sit there and you wait for them to type back. Because if you type anything else, then you seem needy and you don't want the bad dad to think that you're needy, right? He, he's like, this is someone who values like space. So you gotta wait. You don't go to the fly, grasshopper, let the fly come to you. That kind of a thing. I get up, walk to the living room, and sit down and turn on the TV. Um, I watched the History Channel last time. What should I watch? Uh, let's watch a game show. It's daytime. Game shows are on. Ooh, Family Fortune's on. All right, Nicole, your parents are in the lead, and it's up to you to win it big. Are you ready? I'm ready. They hook the contestant up to a lie detector in front of her parents. Who is your favorite parent? Uh, my mom? Ooh, sorry, incorrect. Next question. If both of your parents were hanging off the edge of a cliff, which would you save? Uh, this is terrible. I love it. I lose several hours to whatever the hell wh that was. Sighing, I get up and walk around the house. My stomach grumbles. Time for lunch. Huh. Well, I guess it's time for old chef Jarlsberg to cook to Jarlsberg to cook a gourmet delicacy. I walk over to the refrigerator and open the door. Um, I tried to make a sandwich before and that turned out to be pretty gross. Dropped it on the floor. Uh, let's, uh, microwave some eggs. This seems easy enough. I put some eggs in the microwave and set the timer. Oh no! Oh no! Um, one minute. One minute only. The eggs come out pretty okay. They are a little rubbery, but I am apathetic enough to hork them down. If you leave them in for any longer, they will explode. Do not do it. Do not try it. That is my warning to you. I finish my snack and walk around the house some more bored. When's Amanda coming home? Oh, I just remembered something. When we were packing up the old house, we found an old basketball hoop that would hang off of a door. It would really bring the living room together. I question your interior design decisions. I wonder where I put that. There's only in college does a basketball hoop bring a room together. I spend a couple of minutes poking around the new place until I find it. After installing it above one of the doors in the living room, I'm ready to dunk. Come on and slam. I take a leap from the free throw line and rocket that sucker down the net. The crowd goes wild. And welcome to the jam. Come on and slam. And welcome to the jam. I pull up the I pull up from the three point line, breaking ankles and sinking a fade away. And I forgot the rest of the words to the song. Um I'm re uh Slam, bam, thank man, get on the floor and jam. Just work that body, work that body, make sure you don't hurt nobody. Uh, I, and then there's the call and response section. I, I don't remember very much of it. 
I will, I will jam to some space jam though. No look behind the back hook shot. Everyone's on their feet. Something, something, space jam. That's exactly how I sing songs when I don't know the lyrics. I just put in other words, typically about how I don't know the lyrics. Dad? I turn around to see Amanda standing in the doorway, her eyes a little puffy, almost as if she'd been crying. Hey, Amanda Panda, you all right? What are you doing? I uh, found the hoop and I'm taking it to the hole. Eh? <laughs> Pass me the rock. Granny tossed that apple. I led the league in blocks, set the record for rebounds in my rookie year. Think you can handle this? What's a rebound? Oh, uh, it's when somebody misses a shot and the other players try to retrieve it. That's a- Just kidding. Amanda zigzags past me and tips a layup into the hoop. Art of war, bitches. Amanda, language. Oh. Sun Tzu didn't care about language. I would argue that Sun Tzu cared very much about language. So, once you write something as timeless as the art of war, then you're allowed to swear. Amanda sticks out her tongue and dunks for another two points. Seriously, though, are you okay? You look like you've been crying. Oh. Oh, dude, I'm cool. I just saw, like, this really cute dog on the way home, and it let me pet its belly. I couldn't contain my emotions. Um, uh, we're gonna tell me more about this dog. Gladly! She was a little French bulldog named Jacqueline, and her tongue was permanently stuck out of her mouth. She had a little sweater on. Wow, I probably also would have cried if I got to pet her. She was so excited for tummy rubs. Oh no, I'm tearing up just thinking about it. Change the subject, but seriously... You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah, that's why I'm talking that's why I'm talking about my love for French bulldogs with you. Okay, just remember that it's okay to be sad. And also remember that I love you very much. And only want what's best for you. That's all. Alright, alright. Jeez, don't make me cry again. Oh, okay, just making sure. Maybe you should be less concerned with my face and more concerned with full court press. Alright, um, so I think I want to leave this episode here, because I, I know what's coming next still, and I don't want to ruin the surprise for you guys, even though the surprise is already kind of ruined for me, but, um, I'm going to let you get going and have a beautiful rest of your day, and I will see you on the next episode of Bonus Level, where we'll still be playing some more Dream Daddy A Dad Dating Simulator. I am so addicted to this game. Like, even though I'm having to replay parts of it, I'm still way into it. Um, so yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye! Thanks for joining me for this episode of Bonus Level. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a flavor and hit that like button. Or better yet, subscribe to the channel and I'll keep the videos coming. Have a lovely day, and I'll see you on the next Bonus Level. Bye!